What's up everyone? It's Chris with Bobcat Barbecue. Today, I have an easy way to get crispy wings out on the Weber Kettle Grill. I'm telling you, it is so easy, you can just start and put your mind on autopilot. Let's get going. Now the first step obviously is getting your wings ready. So I'm using two different rubs today, and with the rubs, in order to get that crispy skin, I have a quarter cup of whatever rub you want, and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. That cornstarch is what's really going to give the wings a nice crispy shell. Now you can use whatever rubs you want, but today I'm using two different things. I'm using Bexon's Backwoods Barbecue Buffalo Wing Rub, and I'm using Cosmos Q Killer Honeybee. But again, use whatever rub you want. And you will notice that I'm using a rack under these, because in order to get that crispy skin, you also need dry skin. So I'm letting these things air out in the fridge after rubbing them, just until the charcoal is ready. Get whatever surface moisture is on there off. Notice I'm not using a binder on these. No, sometimes with poultry I use uh, duck fat just to act as, as a binder. But again, with chicken wings, I'm trying to get that crispy skin. Not using any binder. Make sure that skin is nice and dry. As dry as possible anyway. Again, use whatever rub you want. What I'm doing is, again, a quarter cup of whatever rub and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. The ratio is usually about either a three to one or a four to one. Depends on how much you're making. All right, these things are good to go. I'm gonna let them chill here on the counter while I get the grill ready. All right, time to get this started. So I'm not the one that came up with this method, but I'm, I like it and I'm calling it the clock method. You'll see why. At the Vortex setup, I had about three quarters full of some old charcoal just so I can reuse it and get full use out of it. Then I have that partial chimney, bring it up to just under full. Um, but it's been resting here, so it's getting nice and hot. So let's get our wings on that side of the drumettes facing towards the fire close together get some more in there now for our buffaloes you see I'm not putting very much on here I mean this is only good for me and the kiddo plenty over there that way and I can divide them up because he doesn't do spice make sure you can divide all right so I have my bottom vent all the way open and the top vent is all the way open get some cherry wood on there let that start smoking and for this method you want to choose a point on your grill to be 12 o'clock so I'm choosing the handle to be my starting point Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting in a 12 o'clock position. Then every 12 minutes, we're going to rotate it just like that. And depending on where, where your event is, we'll let you know how far into the cook you, you are. So you don't have to think about it at all once you start. So you can start drinking or talking to people, do whatever you want. Once you start, you don't have to think about it again. All right, that's smoking. So put this on 12 o'clock and in 12 minutes, we're going to turn it. And when we get to this point, if you're going to use sauce, that's when you, you do it. You do it for the last 12 minutes. 
All right, we're gonna let this sit and you're gonna see a sped up version of this. But for me, I'm gonna be waiting 12 minutes per rotation. All right, so it's been 36 minutes, as you can tell by the direction of the vent. And if you're using sauce, this is the time that you'd be using it. So these things have a great color. And if you're using sauce, this is also the only time you're gonna be flipping them. So what I'm gonna do is just a nice light coat of some honey barbecue sauce on the Cosmo wings. things turned over. Obviously with the sauce on these, skin's not going to get as crispy. But the kid likes a little sweetness on the barbecue. Who doesn't? But this also shows you the different ways you can do this. Again, I'm not doing a whole lot. And the last 12 minutes is gonna help the sauce set. Okay, final 12 minutes. All right, it has been a total of 48 minutes. Look at the color on these things. All right, let's get the barbecue ones off first. If you haven't done this trick before, I just have one pan for two different things. So I have a piece of aluminum foil down. And once I'm done with these, I'm gonna flip that foil over. That way, if you're doing a sauce or something that you don't want the two mixing, don't have to worry about it. This way my hot ones don't mix with the, with the kiddos barbecue ones. I can't, can't tell if you can see. I don't know if you can hear, but that surface is nice and crispy. All right, I'm gonna take these inside. Um, I'm gonna check my vents because I like saving as much charcoal as possible. So check the vents all the way closed, get this thing closed up, and we'll start eating. All right, let's get into these. As like I was showing you outside, I don't know if you can hear it. See how crispy that sounds? And here, let me see if you can get a good color on these things. So these are the, these are the hot ones. Well, hot, the, bu the buffalo ones color on that. Then here is the barbecue. Some nice char and caramelization on there. All right. So here's the buffalo ones. Again, this is, this is a Bexon's Backwoods Barbecue Buffalo. Mm. Now you've seen me use this, this rub before. It's nothing new. I like this this part, this buffalo one because it's it's there's a bit of sweetness to it. And again, I I did a review of this. I'll link to it up above. But these wings are perfect, juicy, perfectly cooked. And it is buffalo, but it's not overwhelming hot. There's a nice little bit of sweetness to it. So if if you if you like the mild stuff, this is perfect for you. All right, now I'll go for the barbecue. See how juicy it is? Not dry out. There is some bite to it. When you put the barbecue sauce on there, it is gonna kill some of the, the texture, that the crispy texture you've been working on. But as it caramelizes and sets, 
it still lets you get a little bit of crunch to it. And you can see on this one, it has nice grill marks. Where the sauce set and caramelized. It's great. Man. So that's it. I hope you guys like this. Again, that this method is not mine. It's something I saw, but it's, I think it's great. I mean, if you use that the, the clock method, is what I'm calling it, it's about 48 minutes-ish of cook time. So depending on how much prep work you do, you could be having dinner an hour, hour and 15 from start to finish. It's great. It's a really easy way. I, I love using the vortex on the kettle. Great heat as that infuses all the way around the meat. Makes it a really fast cook and even cook. And using that little bit of cornstarch in with your rub will guarantee you have a nice crispy texture. All right, everyone. Again, I hope you like this. If you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. And also hit that bell notification because it will let you know once I have new videos. And I do want to say that I, over the holidays, I did open a new website. It is bottlecapbbq.com. Please go check it out. It's a landing page for a lot of my competition stuff. I have some recipes on there and hopefully I'll have some other stuff in the future. But please go check it out. Again, it's bottlecapbbq.com. I'll link it down below. All right, everyone. It's like I always say, no matter what you got, no matter how you're going to do it, just cook it. Happy New Year. See you next time.